Well, uh, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the concept of the profit. Uh, in economics, by profit, we mean that the difference between total revenue of the firm and total cost of the firm is known as profit. Okay. So, profit is categorized into uh, accounting profit and economic profit. What do we mean by accounting profit and how do we calculate it? Similarly, uh, how can we calculate economic profit and what does this mean? So, let us discuss it. Accounting profit is always calculated by uh, subtracting the accounting cost from the total revenue of the firm. Similarly, accounting uh, economic profit can cal be calculated by subtracting the economic cost from the total revenue of the firm. So, accounting profit is differentiated from economic profit on the basis of the cost because accounting profit considers accounting cost and economic profit considers economic cost. So, this is this is the story behind the accounting profit and the economic profit. All right. So, profit <coughs> is the difference between total revenue of the firm and total cost of the firm. Okay. How can we generate uh, revenue and how can uh, we calculate cost of the firms? Revenue is the function of so many actions. For example, revenue, if you want to calculate revenue, revenue is calculated by price time quantity, but revenue depends upon so many actions of the Similarly, a cost of the functions is also depends upon so many actions. So, A1, A2, A3 up to N, this shows the actions of the firm. What can these actions be? These actions can be actual production activities, okay, purchase of on inputs and uh, contracts with the input owners, advertisement expenditure, marketing, etc., etc. So, there are so many activities involved in the production uh, uh, and distribution and marketing, etc., etc. So, all such top of actions are covered by A1, A2 up to A n. So, that is why your revenue and your cost depends upon certain uh, actions. Now, uh, the firm aim is to maximize output, uh, profit sorry, the firm aim is to maximize profit of the firm, which is the difference between total revenue and total cost and total revenue and total cost depends upon certain actions of the firm. How many actions? I actions where I takes value from 1 to n. All right. To maximize profit, uh, we can use some simple calculus. We can apply the first order conditions and the second order condition. By first order condition, we mean that we apply the first order derivative and we put it equal to 0. So, if we take the first order derivative of this function, this is total revenue function and this is total cost function. When we take the derivative of the total revenue function, we get marginal revenue function and which we when we take the derivative of total cost function, we get the marginal cost function and we put it equal to 0 and shift the derivative of the total cost to the right hand side. So, we will get the marginal cost on the right hand side and marginal revenue on the left hand side. So, the profit maximization condition is the necessary condition is your marginal revenue must equal to the marginal cost and in economics this rule is known as marginal principle. So, it means that the marginal revenue or the marginal benefits must equal to the marginal cost. Okay. So, this is all about the profit, economic profit, accounting profit and first order condition. After this, we apply the second order condition. We take the derivative of the marginal revenue function, the derivative of this and the derivative of the marginal cost function. And if this derivative of the marginal cost function which is also known as the slope of the marginal cost function is greater than the slope of the marginal revenue. The slope of the marginal revenue is function is obtained by taking the derivative of the marginal revenue function. So, if slope of or derivative of marginal cost function is greater than the derivative of marginal revenue function, then this is the confirmation that the uh, profit is maximized. Thank you. Thanks for watching.